This is the second part of the tutorial on recreating the Ubermenu tab from the Ubermenu demo site. So here's what we have so far. We've added two widgets to one menu item widget area. So, so far we have our recent posts and our map. So now we're going to add a third widget area to create this contact form. So I'm using contact form 7 here, which is a great contact form plugin. We just copy this shortcode, we'll go back to the widgets page, we're going to add a third text widget into Uber menu widget area 1, give it a title, and paste the shortcode for the contact form right there. Save that, refresh our home page, now you'll see that we've got three columns, the third of which is our contact form. So if we switch back to the demo site for a minute, you'll see what we have left is this bottom row here. We have three columns that are unevenly uh, divided. So what we're going to do to create this is use a content override in a new submenu item and we'll use the shortcodes included with Ubermenu to create these columns of text. So first, back in our Appearance Menus page, we're going to add a new menu item. We're going to give it the special label hyphen hyphen divide hyphen hyphen. And that'll create a horizontal rule to divide our two, the two parts of our menu. I'm also going to quickly give it a special class. You can reveal that option up in Screen Options, CSS Classes. And this will ensure that the item actually takes up the full row, that's full width row. Now we're just going to put whatever content we want into the content override box. So this can contain text, HTML, um, and it can also contain shortcodes. So what I've done is I've used the Ubermenu columns shortcodes that are included with the plugin to create three columns. So we wrap them in an Ubermenu call group tag, and then for each column we have an Ubermenu call shortcode. And for the first one, I set the call span to 2. And the other ones are just normal. And the text inside doesn't really matter. So we'll save our menu. And again, you'll see that there are only two submenu items below Uber menu. So we'll refresh our home page. Now you'll see that what we have is our second menu item down here, which contains the three columns that we created via shortcodes. And it's also got the horizontal divider here that we added. And that's really about it. Now you can see that we've recreated the, the Uber menu tab from the demo. And you can see exactly how it compares to uh, this diagram in the documentation. And in the next tutorial, we'll cover how to create a, an image-only menu item and add a search bar.